These roads intended to facilitate smooth traffic flow instead present a mosaic of engineering missteps and strange decisions. From unexpected dead ends to mind-bending intersections, these roadways show us the unforeseen challenges that can arise in the world of infrastructure design. So buckle up and join me, we're exploring 15 road infrastructure fails. Number 15. The Bridge to Nowhere the Gravina Island Bridge, an infrastructure project proposed in Alaska, gained notoriety as the Bridge to Nowhere. This project was to construct a bridge connecting to the city of Ketchikan to Gravina Island, a sparsely populated area with an airport. The nickname Bridge to Nowhere stems from the perception that the bridge would serve a minimal population while incurring substantial costs. Initially, it was approved as part of the Transportation Equity Act for the 21st century in 2005. This proposed bridge faced some widespread criticism for its huge price tag and the seemingly disproportionate benefits it would provide. The estimated cost of the project was $398 million, making it a symbol of excess government spending. Gravina Island had a population of fewer than 50 people, and the primary argument for the bridge was to provide them with easier access to the Ketchikan Airport, which was already serviced by a short ferry ride. Despite the project's initial approval, it became a focal point of national discussions about government spending priorities and fiscal responsibility. The Bridge to Nowhere garnered significant attention during the 2008 United States presidential campaign, with both major political parties using it as an example of wasteful earmark spending. Ultimately, in 2007, due to mounting criticism and changing political dynamics, Congress reallocated the funds earmarked for the Gravina Island Bridge to other transportation projects in Alaska. This proposed bridge, which had become a symbol of government excess, never came to fruition, solidifying its place in history as the bridge to nowhere. Number 14. Dalton Highway the Dalton Highway, stretching over 400 miles through the remote wilderness of Alaska, is often labeled a colossal infrastructure failure. While not a failure in the traditional sense of the word, its shortcomings lie in its challenging conditions, isolation, and the numerous hazards it's got. Constructed primarily as a supply road for the Trans-Alaska Pipeline System in the 1970s, the Dalton Highway gained some notoriety for being one of the most treacherous and inhospitable roads in the U.S. Its gravel surface, prone to becoming extremely muddy in wet conditions, leads to difficult driving conditions. The absence of regular maintenance and the constant battle with harsh weather contribute to the highway's reputation as a challenging route. One of the major criticisms of it is its remoteness and lack of service. The huge stretches of uninhabited wilderness mean that travelers often encounter long distances between fuel stations and essential services. Breakdowns or accidents in such desolate conditions can quickly become life-threatening, and the lack of immediate assistance contributes to the highway's classification as a big old fail in terms of traveler safety. This highway is notorious for its extreme weather, too, with snow, ice, and freezing temps making it hazardous, especially during the winter months. When you hit the road on the Dalton Highway, you're on your own the whole way. So if you've got a problem, then you better be well prepared to solve it fast. Number 13. The Can of Worms Interchange The Can of Worms Interchange in Minnesota, officially known as the I-35, I-535, US-53 Interchange in Duluth, has earned its moniker due to its complex and convoluted design, making it one of the most confusing and challenging interchanges in the U.S. Its intricate network of ramps, bridges, and interweaving lanes has contributed to its reputation as a significant transportation headache and a massive failure in terms of traffic flow and safety. The nickname Can of Worms does a great job of capturing the tangled and chaotic nature of this interchange. It features multiple levels of bridges and ramps that twist and turn in a seemingly chaotic manner, resembling the interconnected and disorganized layout of a can of worms. One of the primary reasons for its failure is its high accident rate. This complex design, coupled with frequent changes in traffic patterns, has led to confusion among drivers, resulting in higher incidences of collisions. Navigating the interchange requires quick decision-making and precise lane changes, often causing congestion and contributing to a less-than-ideal driving experience. The complex layout and sheer volume of traffic traveling through the interchange, including heavy freight traffic from the nearby port, leads to bottlenecks and delays. The congestion not only hampers the efficiency of the interchange, but it also poses a safety risk as drivers maneuver through the intricate mess of lanes. Number 12. Kinzoa Bridge when the Kinzoa Bridge was first built in 1882, people were blown away. 
over a hundred years later, the bridge itself would be literally blown away. The original viaduct was approximately 301 feet high and about 2,000 feet long, making it the world's longest at the time. It was billed as the eighth wonder of the world, and day trippers would come on excursion trains from as far away as Buffalo, New York to marvel at this expansive Pennsylvania construction. In 1900, the bridge was rebuilt using stronger steel in order to accommodate heavier trains. It took 100 to 150 men working 10-hour shifts to complete the new bridge in 105 days. Commercial trains would continue to rumble across the bridge until 1959 when the route was abandoned in favor of trackage rights on another company. The bridge and railway were sold to a scrap merchant, who were reluctant to demolish the bridge and instead arranged for it to be purchased by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, who created a state park and permitted tourist trains to operate over the line. Inspectors closed the bridge in 2002, and as it became a much-beloved landmark, the restoration process quickly began. The restoration went a little differently than had been anticipated. Turns out that the bridge's closing came not a moment too soon. On Monday, July 21, 2003, at approximately 3.15 p.m., an F1 tornado with wind speeds around 94 miles an hour struck the side of the Kinzua Viaduct. Eleven towers from the center of the bridge were torn from their concrete bases and thrown to the valley floor, leaving only the end portions of the bridge intact. After that, it just took 30 seconds for the steel behemoth to come crumbling down. Repairing the Kinzua Bridge at that time would have cost around $45 million. Instead, the state of Pennsylvania made the mangled metal an attraction in its own right. Today, visitors can walk a 300-foot restored portion of the bridge, which leads to an observation deck with a striking view of both the Kinzua Creek Valley and the wreckage below. Number 11. The Taroko Gorge Road the Taroko Gorge Road, winding through the breathtaking Taroko Gorge in Taiwan, has become a bit of a natural wonder in its own right. Initially, it was constructed by Japan in the early 20th century. This road was designed to provide access to the stunning landscapes of the Taroko National Park. This serpentine roadway traversing through the rough cliffs, lush forests, and rushing rivers has captivated visitors with its scenery. However, beneath this picturesque exterior lies a history of engineering difficulties and persistent challenges that have earned the Taroko Gorge Road a reputation as an infrastructure fail. One of the most glaring issues that plague the Taroko Gorge Road is its susceptibility to natural hazards. This region is prone to frequent seismic activity, typhoons, and torrential rains. Landslides and rockfalls are common occurrences here, posing significant threats to the road and its users. Compounding these challenges is the rapid weathering of the marble cliffs that surround the road. The continuous erosion and weathering of the rock formations result in loose debris, increasing the risk of rock slides. Despite efforts to secure the cliffs with protective structures, the dynamic geological forces here often outpace engineering solutions, leading to periodic closures and disruptions. Narrow sections, sharp turns, and limited visibility exacerbate this congestion, leading to bottlenecks and safety hazards for drivers and pedestrians. Efforts have been made to address some of the issues, and the Taiwanese government has invested in improvements and safety measures, including the construction of tunnels to bypass particularly hazardous sections. However, the geological forces at play here have continued to best these efforts. Number 10. Le Manali Highway Constructed to enhance connectivity between two remote and culturally rich regions, the Lei Manali Highway spans about 298 miles, reaching elevations of over 16,400 feet. While the road offers breathtaking vistas of snow-capped peaks, serene valleys, and pristine landscapes, it's earned a reputation for being one of the most challenging and treacherous highways in the world. One of the primary concerns is its vulnerability to extreme weather. The region experiences harsh winters with heavy snowfalls, leading to the closure of the highway for a significant portion of the year. This closure is not merely a matter of inconvenience, but a necessity for safety, as the road becomes impassable due to snow, avalanches, and even the risk of frostbite if you get out of the car. During the brief summer season, when the road is accessible, it still presents its challenges. Rapid snowmelt and heavy rainfall can trigger landslides and rockfalls along the route, leading to road closures and delays. The unpredictable and dynamic nature of the Himalayan terrain demands constant vigilance and maintenance efforts to ensure the safety. Steep gradients, hairpin bends, and narrow stretches all present nasty challenges to travelers. These elements make the road susceptible to accidents, especially given the lack of guardrails and protective barriers in many sections. 
Navigating these conditions demands skill and caution from drivers, and any lapse in attention can have severe consequences. Despite the considerable challenges, the Le Manali Highway has become an iconic journey for adventure seekers and intrepid travelers. Number 9. Nagstoan Subroom Highway Spanning the northeastern Indian state of Meghalaya, the Nagstoan Subroom Highway was envisioned as a critical link connecting Nagstoan in the west to Subroom in the south. But since it made it to this list, the question now becomes, did that work? Well, commencing with high expectations as part of an ambitious infrastructure development plan, the highway aimed to stimulate economic growth, enhance connectivity, and improve accessibility for the region's residents. However, the reality of this highway sharply contrasts with its intended purpose, revealing a multitude of challenges and earning a reputation as a failure. Construction faced the daunting topography of Meghalaya, characterized by undulating hills, dense forests, and challenging weather conditions. These challenges have made construction and maintenance of a reliable all-weather road an arduous task. Over the years, the highways encountered an average of 30 landslides annually, impeding traffic and requiring extensive repairs. The susceptibility to landslides has not only disrupted transportation, but it's also been a drain on resources. The continuous need for repair and maintenance due to landslides diverts funds that could otherwise contribute to broader infrastructure developments. This highway has witnessed an expenditure of approximately $5 million every year on landslide-related repairs alone. Poor road conditions further exacerbate the challenges faced by users of this highway. Potholes, uneven surfaces, and inadequate drainage contribute to a hazardous driving experience. The lack of proper maintenance has allowed the road to deteriorate rapidly, with surveys indicating that nearly 60% of the highway's stretch is in a state of not just disrepair, but a state of despair. The National Highways Authority of India has identified what it calls black spots on India's highways, which let motorists know just how dangerous the road is. And this highway is riddled with these signs. Number 8. Gloucester Sinkholes All right, the next entry on our list is a classic case of what lies beneath. So what does that mean? Well, recent sinkholes that have emerged on a bustling street in Gloucester are believed to be linked to a network of mysterious subterranean tunnels, reigniting local superstitions about the city's ancient underground secrets. The heavy rains and flooding in the area are thought to have triggered these new holes, prompting curious residents to reach out to none other than the Gloucester Paranormal Investigation Services, lovingly referred to as GPIS. The GPIS revealed that inquiries flooded their Facebook page, with locals speculating about a possible connection between the sinkholes and the rumored secret tunnels beneath the city. Gloucester is said to harbor more than 22 miles of underground passageways dating back to Roman times, purportedly serving various purposes from smuggling to military activities. The GPIS also disclosed the existence of tunnel entrances in pub cellars, hinting at their historical roles during different eras. The underground system's functions ranged from smuggling to contributions during the English Civil War and World War II, where rumors suggest it was utilized by secret services and the military. While the sinkholes have inconvenienced locals, sparking concerns about potential damage to vehicles, some hold hope for intriguing discoveries. Local paranormal historian James Cobert drew parallels with a sinkhole in Rome, which uncovered ancient ruins, emphasizing a potential for Gloucester's sinkholes to reveal hidden structures. However, the immediate focus remains on the inconvenience caused by these sinkholes. One resident highlighted the risks, narrating an incident where a driver damaged their car navigating around a sinkhole, raising eyebrows about potential hazards for motorbikes. The fact that these heavy rains revealed all of these underground tunnels is amazing on its own. But throw in the local paranormal investigators' involvement, and you've got one crazy story on your hands. Moving on to number 7, the Mackinac Bridge. Michigan's Mackinac Bridge, stretching over 5 miles, has earned the nickname the Mighty Mac, but it's also renowned for its daunting reputation, prompting the creation of the Driver's Assistance Program by the Mackinac Bridge Authority. Connecting upper and lower peninsulas of Michigan, this iconic structure stands in a region notorious for high winds and unforgiving winters, conditions that make it a nerve-wracking journey for even the most seasoned of drivers. The Mackinac Area Visitors Bureau paints a cold picture of the challenges faced by the bridge each winter, detailing the formation of ice on its cables and towers, typically caused by freezing rain. 
When the relentless winds sweep through or sudden temperature changes happen, the ice can shift, creating a perilous situation where sheets or spears of ice cascade down onto the bridge deck below. Adding to the anxiety-inducing environment are the conditions that make the Mighty Mac uniquely terrifying. With a staggering 200 feet of open air between drivers and the water below, the bridge provides an unnerving perspective. The graded inner lanes of the bridge allow a direct view of the 200-foot drop, which intensifies the sense of vulnerability. In short, getting here at the wrong time isn't just terrifying, it's downright dangerous. Ice above, ice below, all of that ice needs to go. The icy situation has become so bad that the Mackinac Bridge Authority established the Driver's Assistance Program. This initiative aims to assist motorists who find themselves too terrified to complete the crossing independently. So despite these breathtaking views and engineering prowess of Mighty Mac, the bridge stands as one of the most challenging and anxiety-inducing bridge in the U.S. The Driver's Assistance Program serves as a lifeline for those grappling with the daunting conditions of this remarkable yet fear-inducing structure. Number 6. Can Opener Bridge At the corner of Gregson and Peabody Streets in Durham, North Carolina, skulks what at first glance appears to be an innocent railroad trestle. But this is no ordinary trestle. It is sinister and cunning, and will mercilessly scalp any vehicle too high and mighty for its own good. It's infamously known amongst the locals and truckers as the Can Opener. This infrastructure dysfunction happens because it was designed in the 1920s and finally built in 1940 when there were no uniform clearances and when vehicles weren't as large. So the bridge stands a mere 11 feet 8 inches above the road, more than 2 feet below current minimum clearance standards, making it dangerously low for modern trucks to pass safely beneath without a cacophonous and melodramatic shave off the top. So why don't they just fix it, raise the bridge, lower the road? Why is such a clear safety hazard allowed to continue existing? Well, the state-owned North Carolina Railroad Company is responsible for the trackage, and it's not possible to simply raise a single bridge. A certain length of trackage on either side must also be rebuilt to prevent a sharp hump that would impede easy operation of trains. As this track is not only a major freight and passenger route, but also in the middle of a major city, such construction would be very disruptive. The North Carolina Department of Transportation is responsible for the care and maintenance of the road. However, they're in a bit of a quandary too. Nestled beneath the pavement is a 100-year-old sewer main. Whoops. The city of Durham has made plenty of efforts to warn truckers. Well in advance of the bridge, they've installed pretty yellow signs and sensors that trip sparkly flashing lights when two tall trucks pass by. They've also posted a 25-mile-per-hour speed limit, all of which many truckers promptly ignore. They then encounter the last bit of safety equipment, a stout steel beam erected over the road so any oversized vehicle that insists on proceeding will crash into that instead of the bridge itself. Number 5. Storsai Sunne Bridge The Storsai Sunne Bridge along the Atlantic Ocean Road in Norway is known for a lot of things. The amazing location, the engineering behind it, and for seemingly rising high in the sky. But it's that last bit that really helps to garner its reputation. Simply put, it creates a terrifying optical illusion. Spanning 260 meters, the bridge appears to defy gravity, with a dramatic hump in the middle that creates the illusion of a road ascending into the heavens. While this piece of infrastructure captures the imagination of onlookers, it also harbors critical design flaws that classify it as an infrastructure and a road fail. The biggest issue here is the questionable alignment. The steep incline at the center of the bridge serves no practical purpose, challenging conventional principles of road design. Roads are typically engineered to provide smooth and efficient transportation, ensuring safety and comfort of drivers and passengers. However, the pronounced hump in this bridge introduces unnecessary elevation changes, disrupting the flow of traffic and compromising the overall functionality of the road. The bridge's oddly steep design raises concerns, as tall as the structure is itself, about driver experience and safety. The abrupt elevation change creates a disorienting sensation for motorists, impacting their ability to anticipate the road ahead. This design flaw not only compromises the safety of those using the bridge, but also raises questions about the thoroughness of the engineering considerations. Additionally, the bridge lacks essential guardrails or safety barriers that are standard features on many bridges, particularly those with this type of challenging geometry. Technically, guardrails are there, but they're only about knee-high. They look like they're there just to adhere to some bare minimum safety standard. The exposed nature of the bridge, coupled with its unconventional design, amplifies challenges faced by drivers and underscores their shortcomings in ensuring a secure transportation infrastructure.
Number 4. North Carolina's Lakeview Drive We should always finish what we start, especially when it's an infrastructure project. So tell that to the people who began this entry on our list. Constructed in the mid-20th century, the road to nowhere in North Carolina was intended to provide an alternative route for communities that were severed from their original paths by the creation of the Fontana Lake. However, despite its well-intentioned beginnings, the road was left incomplete, culminating in a five-mile stretch that leads to a tunnel but lacks any meaningful destination on the other side. As the name would imply, the biggest failure here is that it's flat-out incomplete, and incomplete means no connectivity whatsoever. In the case of the road to nowhere, the incomplete stretch serves no practical purpose, leading to a road that goes nowhere. So how does this even happen? Well, it all began with the construction of North Carolina's Fontana Dam during the 1940s. Fontana Dam's construction resulted in the creation of Fontana Lake, and the rising waters inundated and then displaced the local communities. In an attempt to address the social and economic impacts of this project, the Tennessee Valley Authority made promises to construct a replacement road that would connect the isolated communities with the outside world. However, as construction progressed, it became apparent that completing the entire road as initially promised would be impractical and economically unfeasible. The rising costs, coupled with growing environmental awareness, led to the decision to halt construction. This abrupt termination earned the road its iconic nickname, reflecting the perceived futility of the incomplete project. So today, while the road to nowhere may evoke intrigue and curiosity, its legacy is of unmet expectations and fundamental road design failures and infrastructure mistakes. Number 3. The Judge Harry Pregerson Interchange Where the hell to even begin with the Judge Harry Pregerson Interchange? Start by calling it a maze of complexity, a circus of chaos, and navigational insanity. This sprawling network of ramps and lanes in Los Angeles, California stands as a monument to both grandiose engineering, navigational challenges, and yes, a big road fail. Named after Judge Harry Pragerson, an influential figure in LA's history, this interchange has earned a reputation for its labyrinthine complexity, leaving drivers to pull their hair out as they try to get around. It was constructed to alleviate traffic congestion and accommodate the ceaseless flow of vehicles in one of the nation's busiest metropolitan areas. This interchange ambitious design aimed to streamline transit between major highways. However, its execution has resulted in a web of ramps and lanes that for many drivers feels like a convoluted puzzle with unexpected twists and turns. The intricacy of the Judge Harry Pregerson interchange is immediately apparent to those who attempt to navigate it. The interchange connects several major highways, including the I-105 and I-110, and features the assortment of entry and exit points, creating an environment where missed turns and abrupt lane changes are, to put it mildly, a hassle. LA is known for its horrendous traffic, and this insane interchange helps it live up to that hype. The sheer volume of lanes, ramps, and merging points only adds to this chaos. Drivers find themselves in a constant struggle to position their vehicles correctly, interpret signage, and anticipate sudden changes in direction. And if you miss your exit, it's all over. The result is an environment where the stress of navigation greatly overshadows the intended convenience of the interchange. The complexity of it makes motorists ask, why? This type of infrastructure is built to create sufficiency, and yet it's one of the most inefficient road projects in the United States. Forget about traffic flow. The Judge Harry Pregerson Interchange is one big traffic no. Number 2. Le Passage du Gua Driving along Passage du Gua in France is not your average road trip, not by a long shot. Stretching for over two and a half miles, this road, also known as Gua, forms a precarious link between mainland at Beauvoir-sur-Mer and the alluring island of Noir-Moutier. But here's the twist, it's not your everyday road, it's a passage flooded twice a day by the tides of the Atlantic, an unconventional road that transforms into a submerged wonderland twice daily. It's a mesmerizing dance with the sea, leaving the passage underwater during high tide. The catch, slippery seaweed adorns the road once the tides retreat, turning the drive into a slippery escapade. Planning to conquer the passage? Well, good luck, you're gonna need a tide timetable to make that happen. This extraordinary causeway is only accessible an hour and a half before and after lowest tide. Miss that window, and you'll be swapping your heels for an inflatable boat, joining the ranks of the vehicles that have disappeared beneath the salty brine in the past. 
It was built during the 14th century. This uneven, stone-paved causeway has become a national monument, attracting thousands of people eager to witness the miraculous unveiling of the road during the ebbing tide. Trucks and buses, however, can only venture in one direction, from the mainland to the island. The road is both enchanting and treacherous, its history intertwined with the sea's capricious nature. The Passage du Gua has even made a cameo in the world-renowned Tour de France bicycle race, adding a touch of adrenaline to an already perilous passage. Yet beyond its charm, the nearly 10,000 people living locally have learned to respect the warning panels, understanding the dangers of navigating this unique but potentially hazardous route. So if you're up for a road trip like no other, remember, Le Passage du Gua can be very dangerous if you're not careful. Keep an eye on the tides and the seaweed-covered twists that make this road both a marvel and a mess. Number 1. Fukuoka Sinkhole the Fukuoka Sinkhole, a colossal cavity that unexpectedly appeared in the heart of Fukuoka's city in Japan on November 8, 2016, stands as a reminder of the vulnerabilities within urban road infrastructure. This massive chasm, measuring about 98 feet in length and almost 90 feet in width and nearly 50 feet deep, presented itself near the busy Hakata Station, a busy, busy area. The incident unfolded in a matter of hours, dramatically exposing the shortcomings in the city's underground infrastructure. Now, the primary cause of this sinkhole was identified as a construction mishap during the expansion of a nearby subway line. The workers were attempting to create an underground passageway for the subway when they accidentally undermined the structural integrity of the ground above. The tunneling activities compromised the stability of the soil, ultimately leading to the sudden collapse of the road surface. One of the most striking aspects of this infrastructure fail is the speed at which it happened. In the span of mere hours, the bustling cityscape transformed into a scene of chaos and an emergency response. The sinkhole swallowed an entire section of the road, including utility poles, cars, and a large chunk of asphalt, leaving behind a void that posed immediate risks. Efforts to repair the sinkhole involved swift and coordinated actions by city authorities. Construction crews worked tirelessly around the clock to fill the void with a mixture of sand and cement, a process known as liquefaction grouting. The urgency of the situation? It did showcase the importance of rapid response and adaptive engineering solutions. But it didn't take years, months, or even weeks to fill up the hole. Japan has proven time and time again that it's one of the most resilient countries in the world. And the case of filling the sinkhole is no exception to this rule. It was filled in just a matter of days. Two days to be exact. 48 hours. Sayonara sinkhole. I'll see you guys next time. Watch our vehicles playlist for more top 15 videos about amazing vehicles. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best vehicle videos. Thank you to our channel members.